this is an absolutely critical issue. Rhode Island has been a national leader in vaccinations, and uh, I commend everyone who stepped up and did what they had to do to protect themselves and their families and others. But I'm concerned that the spread of misinformation has upset the process and is holding people back from getting a vaccination that could literally save their lives. Uh, this misinformation is wrongly distorting the collective efforts to save lives and put an end to this pandemic. Now, we're here to urge more people to listen to the facts, listen to science, talk to trusted, reputable, credible sources like your doctor or your pastor, and get vaccinated. Now, we know the Delta variant is more infectious. We know it's a problem, and we know that things are likely to, to be tougher in the fall and winter. We also know that the vaccine is safe and effective and can help prevent avoidable hospitalizations and deaths. So our message is once again very simple. Please get vaccinated. And please don't spread misinformation about vaccines. If you see something on social media, consider the source before sharing it with others. And I've joined several of my colleagues to urge the social media companies to be more vigilant about misinformation and to be more uh, effective in removing that misinformation. Indeed, to be also very careful when it comes to non-English social media communications. Preventing the spread of misinformation helps protect the health of people. We're all in this together, and the surest and safest way to get through it is to get more people vaccinated. As I said, it does not just protect the individual, it protects the family, it protects the community, it protects us all. And it's going to avoid another wave of hospitalizations, which we re can recall months ago was threatening to overwhelm our health care system. And you can hear heartbreaking stories from those doctors that are treating patients now uh, and they're in serious condition and they're begging for the vaccine and the physician says it's really, really too late for the vaccine. Six months ago, we were in the position where we had no vaccine and we were doing our best. Now we have the solution. We have the vaccine. So please get the shot. Uh, this is not political as, as Merrill said, the virus does not discriminate. Uh, we all have to act to stop it. I all help with hope we will. 